Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Let's see what's going on, guys. This is bricks and pillows. This could be good or bad, right? It can hit you in your face. Or maybe not. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's going on? For the collective. Are you getting a brick, guys, or are you getting a pillow? Will it be soft? Holy Spirit, for the collective. I'm lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel to know that I love you, baby? Lost without you. Somebody's lost without you guys. They are sad. They are sad. Down in the dunk. They not. I know not. No, I don't know what to do. Type energy. They're lost without you guys. They don't know what to do. They don't know if they're going up the hill, down the hill, or just <clears throat> walking sideways on it. I don't know. But somebody feels lost without you. Lost without your energy. Lost, you know. You don't call, you don't text. They feel lost. Sometimes people don't feel it until time has passed. And then all of a sudden, they're like, damn. I really loved him. I really loved her. Right? Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit. And there's nothing wrong with that. Oop. This is a player. Smooth talker. This is a cheater. A womanizer. A joke. And a liar. Mm. So player needs some more of that energy. Player, player. <coughs> player, player needs some more of that good, good energy, guys. Sometimes people don't know when to stop playing. Like grow, grow up, right? Grow up already. They said don't leave me. Isn't that something? Player, player. Player, player from the Himalayas. They lost without you. They said, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Let's put some love jones on this because apparently they got the funk in their left eye. What do they say? No. They got the rhythm in their left eye trying to become the funk in your right. Is that all right? Love jones, guys. Love jones. Holy Spirit, let me give you a love jones or two. This person is jonesing for you. Isn't that what they used to say in Philly? They jonesing or something like that. They used to say, if you're from Philly, don't come at me if I, if I used it incorrectly. Because I don't know. But I think that's what jonesing is. Like, Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. My grandson is here today. Oh, Lord. Holy Spirit. Any messages? Ooh, let's go with it. This is Love Jones, right? So apparently this person is feeling lost without you. They said, I can't stop thinking about you, and I like that. You are my beginning and my end. They are lost without you. See, that's what happens. They shouldn't have played you. But I think sometimes people don't realize who they play until they end up playing themselves, right? And once they play themselves and they're sitting back, probably even out there dating, doing their thing, and then that didn't work, and they try something else, that didn't work, you know, that didn't work. And then all of a sudden, their energy shifts back to you. That good person, that good woman, that good man. And they're like, damn, I'm lost. Without Derek, I'm lost. No, it's Craig. I'm lost without Craig. I'm lost without Daphne. Remember those are the names we used in the very beginning. They're feeling lost without you. This was a player. Player, smooth talker. I'm a smooth criminal. They ended up uh, playing themselves, apparently. They said, please don't leave me. Please. Please don't leave me. Holy Spirit. What's going on with this player? 
You're the Nine of Pentacles. You're single. You're abundant. You're living your best life. You're happy. Um, you can buy your own luxuries, right? And they're realizing, I told you, this player is realizing that you're their emotional fulfillment. You're their Nine of Cups. You're their everything. But see, the two of you have to come together to make it to Ten of Cups. But you there, you at the top with this person. So if you were at the top with this person, why they play you? Why? Inquiring minds wants to know, right? Why do they play you? I know one thing when it comes to please don't leave me, they're not up in their head about it. They are not unsure about that. They don't want you to go. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to get into another relationship. They don't want you to, you know, to find somebody that wants what you want, right? Sometimes people don't realize that until you really back away. And sometimes, guys, you do have to back away from people like this. And you do have to check out their energy. Like, check out. Like, stop thinking about them. Stop wondering what they're doing. Stop asking about them. Stop getting on terror to see what this person is doing. No. Back all the way up. Back the hell up, all the way, hands off the tape, right? Back up, and once they see that you backed up completely, you're not texting, you're not calling, you're not looking, you're not searching, you're not on any of their socials. I mean, you're on there, but you're not looking at the ish, right? That's when they feel it, and that's what I mean when I say take your energy back. That means live your life, go out there, date. Do whatever it is you need to do to keep going, right? True. That's when they feel it. Trust me when I tell you. That's when they feel it. But as long as you're chasing their energy and stuff, they can feel that. People know. They got the, they got energy just like we do. They can feel that. So that's why I say back the hell up. It gives them room to think. Holy Spirit. It gives them room to think. Yeah, you walked away. You just stopped putting in work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You, you just stopped. You just stopped putting in work with this person. And you moved on. And your chariot. You moved on. And now they're realizing you're their emotional fulfillment. Mm. Yep, you got victory in your life. You happy. You could be in the public eye. You know, maybe you speak publicly somewhere. I don't know. But you have victory. You have supporters. You have people behind you. People are cheering you on. Like, go get it. Keep going. Don't stop, right? Don't stop till you get it. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on. Yeah, you stop putting in energy here. You got clarity on the situation. You figured out who this person was. You're like, you know what? Player, yes. Smooth talker, yes. Cheater, yes. Joke, yes. Liar, yes, right? You got clarity on this person, and that's why you moved on, and that's why you stopped giving energy, stopped giving your energy to this person. Yeah, you moved on. They had too many options. They could even feel like they chose wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. They said, don't leave me. Huh. They're still in this devilish energy. Why are they still here? Why are they still here in this devilish energy? Be careful about that. This person is still with the ish, right? Holy Spirit, either that or they're just addicted to you. They can't let it go. Maybe you're their addiction. Holy Spirit, clarify this devil here. Why is it in the upright? This sneaky mofo. Seven of Swords, this sneaky mother lover. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. This person is still that person. They still the player. They still a smooth talker. You may be their beginning and their end, right? You may be the best thing since sliced bread, right? But this person here don't have it in them to do right. This is can't get right. They can't get right to save themselves. They can't, uh-uh. Let this person remain lost without you. Holy Spirit, tell us about this Seven of Swords, this sneaky person. Mm, you sneaky. Oh, you sneaky little dog. Sneaky. They could be trying to sneak away from somebody else with this world card here in reverse. 
They could be ending something, something you don't know about. Something didn't work with this person in their life. Maybe they sneaking away from this person to come be with you. That's still a dirty dog because my thing is you don't have to lie to people about ending a connection. You can be like, hey, I'm ending this relationship right now, blah, blah, blah. Just give me a minute. You don't have to lie and say that you was never in a relationship. You don't have to lie. I mean, we're grown here. I hope that you've been in relationships, right? I hope you've dated other people. That's the only way you're going to grow and know. But I can't stand people who claim, I've been single for 16 years. I've been single for 10 years. Yeah, maybe you have because you never gave anybody a title. However, you've been out there in the world tossing it, giving it up, laying it down, spreading it wide. You've been out there. You've dated somebody. Who was the last person you were with? Who did you date for the past year? Who did you date two years? Like, whatever. I can't stand when people say, that they haven't been in a relationship and they just lie. People just lie. So now they're going to sneak out of a connection, guys, because it's not working. Maybe you not even tell you that they was in a connection. They're going to tell you, I ain't been with nobody. I've been by myself. I ain't been with nobody uh, since you. Lies. It's a lie all the time. It's a lie all the time. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Ten of Swords. This person is going to stab somebody in the back. Or maybe they've been stabbed in the back. I don't know. I have a feeling that this person... I don't know, guys. Please don't leave me. Isn't that something? Holy Spirit. Yeah. They're walking away from something, guys. They're sneaking away from something. To come be with you, Queen. Queen of Pentacles. They may be coming to stab you in your back. Start a new world with you. Start something. Stab you in your back. Be careful. This is a sneaky person. Mm. Keep this person on the map. Let them remain lost. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.